Thank you for joining our press conference. As, uh, as Felipe explained, um, the manifesto for us is a vehicle for getting across to the marketplace, the brand owners, our converter customers and partners. What we see is that of 10 of, not necessarily all of the big issues, but certainly 10 of the big issues facing brand owners today and for the future. So we've tried to represent that graphically in an infographic which you've all got on your, on your seats. Um, I'll quickly go through an overview of that and then I'll just run through them in a little bit more detail. Essentially the top three there, compliance, brand protection and sustainability are, are, are not, not simple issues. They're constantly changing, they're evolving and what, what brand protection for example means today, I'm sure people will find ways to get around in 10 years time in terms of counterfeiting and, and duplication of brands. But what we have across that three core, core issues are solutions and thinking really about how brands and retailers and converters can get, get the best out of their packaging in those areas. In a bit more granular detail than the, the other, other areas that are on this infographic, first one there, late stage differentiation. What we mean by that is the last stage possible in terms of adding variable data to packaging. Sun Chemical has a various opportunities and options available to brand owners where you can execute uh, variable data onto primary, secondary, corrugate packaging. Um, and I'll go into a little more detail later on that. Lightweighting uh, is a huge trend, uh, particularly in Europe, but certainly in, in the US as well, and, and in Asia, it's, it's been well established for a very long time. Many, many benefits for brands uh, and retailers, not least cost, but also sustainable impact, and uh, also customer and, uh, interface with the packaging. Uh, essentially, the trend is moving from rigid to plastic, or rigid to flexible. But within that, what else can we get out of the packaging? Can we extend shelf life? Can we improve shelf appeal, et cetera, et cetera? In terms of color consistency, we've been one of the leaders in developing color management um, abilities and software and programs, working with Pantone Live. Um, really, that's about delivering consistency in brand color across, across the globe, across different substrates for a brand. So Coke Red should look like Coke Red in Australia, Asia, and, and, and in New York. Hopefully we've got the, well we definitely have the right, uh, the right approach to enable them to deliver that, not just on a can, but also on corrugate, on labels, etc. Which obviously impacts on, on generating shelf impact. One of the biggest and I think probably the longest running um, uh, importances for, for a pack, if you, take, if you go back 200 years, how do you create some sort of shelf impact? How do you get your product to shelf, stand out on shelf in such a noisy environment with all your competitors trying to compete that same dollar? Well, we have a massive range of finishes, inks, effects, which can help brands deliver that in the retail environment. And I would say that shelf life, while it's always been an important uh, principle of trying to maintain produce and keep freshness, I think in today's market, it's becoming more and more important. Consumers are fed up with throwing away good food. Food is not getting any cheaper, um, as we know. And therefore, brands and retailers and consumers are all interested in how they can not only increase the shelf life on the shelf, but also at home. How can I get the most out of that product? How can I reduce throwing away uh, the leftover cereal or the leftover salad? What we call packaging plus, is really the added value aspects that we can build into packaging, such as augmented reality, added value content, promotional devices, and take home added value parts to the packaging piece. And that's really emerging a lot in the last like, 10 years, and, it, and it's gonna grow exponentially with the adoption of smartphones, etc. And I'll go into a little bit more detail in a second on that one. And then finally, really it's related to that one, in terms of consumer experience, how can we uh, improve the consumer experience and the interaction with packaging. That involves things like thermochromic inks, which helpfully tell you when you should drink your beer, when it's cold enough to drink, which is a very important part of, uh, of modern day life, I think. So in a little bit more detail, um, what we've done is we've broken down the, the, the 10 manifesto points into uh, a succinct story, if you like. What's our view on compliance? Well, for us, it doesn't just mean meeting, com uh, meeting legislation as it stands today. It means being very aware and you know, in the forefront of developing what the next legislation will be. Uh, we're working closely with many partners across Europe on, on forthcoming legislation to do with Swiss ordinance and German ordinance. And I'm, I think, proud to say that Sun Chemical is, is fir firmly 
uh, in the lead in the industry in terms of understanding what's going to happen and what's going to come forward in terms of legislation in the future. For us, what's new here at Interfact, what's new for you guys to talk about? Well, we've got the fourth generation of our industry-leading low migration guide, uh, a guide in terms of how to best develop packaging with certainty. And you can pick that up or download that um, at the start of the, on the website or pick up a copy at the stand. Brand protection, we've been leading the way in this area for quite some time. Um, on our stand, we've got a considerable array of options that we can demonstrate to you of how people can covertly or overtly protect their brand globally against counterfeiting, against duplication. Um, and uh, the best thing about that is that really to see it. I could stand here and tell you about how it works, but the best thing about our brand protection offer is to really feel and, and touch and see the, the example. So I encourage you to, if you're not aware of it, come down and, and speak to the team about that. From sustainability, we, we again have produced our uh, sustainability report and new reports just out. Uh, again, that's downloadable from our website. Um, for us, it's about eco-efficiency and the philosophy of how we can continually improve both our manufacturing procedures and our approach to building products for our customers, but also how our customers can deliver more sustainable products for their marketplaces as well. As I talked on earlier, late stage differentiation. Uh, we have a product called Sunlays, which is uh, certainly um, one of our leading products, but we've got other options in terms of digital technology which enable variable data to be added to the pack at the last stage. As I said, lightweighting is a huge trend and it takes you down many, many different avenues. Um, for us, we're very much concentrating on how we can combine inks, lamination adhesives and coatings to allow and facilitate the reduction of layers in, in flexible packaging. So how can we reduce overall weight? How can we make the transition from glass or metal jars and cans to plastic flexibles? How do we make that the most easy transition possible, maintaining product freshness, maintaining functionality, and actually improving things like cost and sustainability, etc. Also helps hugely in terms of reducing food waste, which is a, is a critical issue. Colour consistency, on our stand we've got a demonstration of, of our Pantone Live colour management software. Um, again, it's one of those fantastic pieces of kit that you really need to see how it works and how you can actually deliver consistency across the globe. How can I get that red to look the same on three different substrates? Um, we're happy to show you that on our stand. Another new uh, item that we're launching at the, sh at the show is our new Sun Inspire Inspiration Book. Um, um, a box. This is a, a graphic of it here. We've got at the moment 21 different samples and effects of actual printed uh, metallics, tactiles, um, pearlescents, etc. Again, it's great on a PowerPoint slide, but you know, to feel it, touch it is, is really critical. Um, it's a, it, for us, it's a really good way of getting across the marketplace the options. One of the biggest uh, issues I've seen in my time at Sun Chemical is the designers are very creative, but their awareness of what's available is actually restricted to what they've got in their studio. So the more we can get this kind of stuff out there to them, then their understanding of the possibilities broaden and, uh, and packaging can become more exciting and, and more impactful. Shelf life, as I said, extending product shelf life is, is, a, is a critical uh, trend, critical issue for brand owners and something that we're fundamentally involved in. On the stand, we've got uh, an array of different examples. There's just two shown here. One's a, a candy bag sample that a prototype we've created. Another one is a salad bag. For example, within salad bags, we, we, we produce a, an awful lot for the marketplace of anti-mists to keep salad looking green and not looking uh, not deteriorating, oxygen scavengers, UV barriers. Uh, and the same with the confectionery. We can build in those kind of coatings into the packaging, which will approve the visual appeal on shelf and extend the shelf life. And we've got other, many other different options within that area that we can talk to you about as well. Not least with closables, which is more about how the consumer interacts with the packaging post-purchase. How can they get the most out of that product um, rather than it, it, it going off essentially after it's been opened. What we term packaging plus, really we're focusing on, on augmented reality. Uh, our um, brand lifecycle management company, Sun Branding Solutions, have developed uh, augmented reality in terms of their offer. Now, it's not something unique to the marketplace, but what is relatively 
um, uncommon is the way in which uh, SBS have been asked to deliver that. The speed and the ease in which a brand owner can build that into their packaging is, is quite impressive. The, the, the problem with things like AR and building in content previously has been that you have to design the packaging again, you have to go through a serious set of stages and buy some expensive software to do it. What the SBS kit allows you to do is do that relatively easily. I think it's a, a few photographs of the pack, you build the software, and then your uh, limitation is your creativity. You can add in content to do with promotional items, whether you want to build in things like social responsibility, promotions, dedicated content for consumers, etc. So the options are, are very broad. The, the thing that's very interesting for this for me is, that, is the ease of which you can do it as a brand owner. And again, on the stand, we, uh, if you've got a smartphone, you can download the app. We've got our iPads on the stand, and you can see, um, see it in action. It's actually quite impressive. And, and lastly, of our 10-point manifesto is the consumer experience. How can we build upon the consumer experience? As I said earlier, a lot of this is around engaging with, with consumers post-purchase, thermochromic inks to tell people when to drink their beer, tactiles and, 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 and effects and coatings and inks which add value to the pack, make it easy to hold, easy to open, reclosable. For us, it's a critical issue that we want to get across, that we understand that challenge for brand owners, that it's not just about producing a pack that will be thrown away within, within a couple of days that have been taken home. That packaging stays in your in the home, and it's a big, big important factor in, in repeat purchase for brands. So that was a very brief run through the ten point manifesto.